So this fix is going to involve how a user signs in if their account is not active. So in my database, I've already registered an account here, uh, which hasn't been activated by email, and we're going to leave it that way. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and sign in with both the username and the email, and we'll see the problem that we have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is sign in with the username. And you see that's actually signed me in despite the fact the account is not active. If I log out and I log in with the email address I used here to register, that won't sign me in. So what's the actual problem here? Well, if we take a look at the code, what's happening here is we're saying where the username equals the identifier, which is fine, or where the email matches the identifier, which is also fine because we want to sign the user in by either their username or email. And then we're saying where active equals true. So what we're actually doing here is we're saying where the email uh, or the username equals the identifier and then separate to that or where the email equals the identifier and active is true. So this is separate from this when we construct the actual query. So we need to work out how we are actually going to fix this or you're going to be allowing people uh, that don't have an active account into your uh, system. So what we need to do here then is I'm going to get rid of all of this. We're going to be rewriting everything here, but I'm just going to get rid of it for clarity. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but the first thing we're going to do is check if the user's account is active. Now we're not going to just be saying where and then uh, email equals identifier or username equals identifier. What we need to do is something slightly different. And this is a query within a callback. So what we're going to do, or in a closure, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say where, and then we're going to have a closure just in here, and we're going to pass through our query builder. This is Eloquent's query builder that gets passed through. So from this, what we can do is we can return a, an, a separate set of queries. So this will make sure that the user's account is always active, and then in here we can check if the email matches the identifier or the username matches the identifier. So what we need to do from this query is say return query where email equals the identifier. Now we don't have the identifier variable in scope, so we need to use it just here. Like so. And then onto this we can chain or where the username equals the identifier. So that's how we're going to structure this. Remember, we need to grab the first record from this still, or we can't access any of this. And that's pretty much it. So let's just test this out and see how it goes. So I'm going to log in with the email first, which, remember, worked before. That wouldn't let us in. And that uh, says we can't be logged in. And now I'm going to try with the username. And that also can't log me in. So let's quickly activate this account just from the database here, just so we can see this working and allowing us in. So now what I can do is I can sign in with my username and I'm in. And I can also sign in with the email that I provided like so. So that's just a quick fix. Just the way we structured this was not quite right and that led to the problem of being able to log in with the username even though you didn't have an active account. So you can go ahead and update this and you'll be good to force users to activate their account before they can sign in.